some people have doubted whether or not that my 90 days to razor sharp technique with the Herbert L. Clark book would actually be suitable for bass clef, bass clef instruments. Easy for me to say. And they doubted that there was actually a version of the Clark book for them. You can't, you can't hide from the Clark stuff anymore, trombone players, baritone players. Um, I haven't tested this out yet on tuba player, but I bet it could still, we could still make it work. You might have to transpose um, down an octave or something like that. Uh, this is the guy that made it all happen, Claude Gordon. He was instrumental in revising this. Well, he didn't really revise it. He just transposed it for bass clef. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, so it's in the treble clef book. You can see that was um, edited by Claude Gordon. And so it goes just like the original book for treble clef, for trumpet and cornet. And with the first study starting off in chromatics, it's got the study that's the most popular, the most played in practice. The second study. And then of course it's accompanied with um, the etudes like you would expect in the original book. So now keep in mind, the whole, well one of the reasons for uh, my doing the Clark course that I have, and it's a standalone course, so you don't need me live in this particular course. In the upper register course, and maybe the lead trumpet course, yeah, uh, you're going to do a lot better the more that I'm involved. But in this particular course, um, for all instruments, whether you're doing trumpet, cornet, or if you um, are a bass clef player, you play trombone or euphonium baritone, um, I made the course such that it's a standalone course that you can work with me through the video format and you don't really need a lot of extra hand-holding. So that's what's pretty cool about this course. See, what else can I say? Well, now you've seen the book. This is a real life book. I think it only cost me 15 bucks or something. Uh, where did I get it? I believe I got this at Sheet Music Plus. I believe, either Amazon or Sheet Music Plus. It got to me real quick. Didn't cost much. Yeah, you can see on the back it was it says $16. Seems like I paid 15 or something for it. So anyway, um, if you want to get your slide technique faster and more accurate with more pop, um, or your, your typical finger technique for euphonium and baritone, possibly even tuba, um, this book goes right along with the Herbert L. Clark 90 Days to Razor Sharp Technique course I got, and the part two of that course, which is the A2 Companion course. I don't believe in working the etudes and exercises um, like Clark has you do it because that bogs you down and makes it more uh, inefficient. So that's why I have it um, divvied up into two parts. All right. Sound like you? Does that sound like you? Are you struggling with finger technique? Does that still sound like you? Just don't got the coordination with your fingers yet. The speed. You should know that I have a course designed to efficiently increase your technique dramatically and in a short amount of time. It's called my 90 days to razor sharp technique. 
using the Herbert L. Clark book. And I'll put a link down in, in the description. You can click on it. You got to get it. It's a 90 day course. And I'll just say this, if you are working on the Herbert L. Clark technical studies and you've started at the first study and worked your way through, if you've already done that, then you did it the wrong way, my friend, and you likely haven't got the best result from the Herbert L. Clark book. I have strategically put exercises more at the beginning of your study uh, that you need to work on first that will actually help speed up your progress and allow you to tackle some of the more difficult ones as you get to them in the Herbert L. Clark. And so we take the studies from one through eight completely out of order. And then even the, even the exercises in those studies are taken out of order to give you the best and ultimate um, speed and improvement in your finger technique. So yeah, the first one I did was um, the one that everybody seems to have trouble with people get scared of and a lot of times young, younger players will simply avoid it that's on the second page in the second study of the Herbert Duck Clark the one with all the sharps yeah so you heard me struggling no after you get done with my course it's going to be more like this going to have the speed and you're going to have the coordination to do the most difficult things on this instrument and for you uh, baritone players and tuba players there is the Herbert L. Clark book for bass clef players and I also um, have that addressed as well it's pretty much the same book but you're it's this it is the same book but it's structured in bass clef so you guys can read it so just because you play tuba euphonium euphonium or baritone doesn't mean you need to bypass this promo and go back to whatever you were doing. You actually do need to get this course. What was the other thing I did? Um, it was part of near the back of the book, these um, little chromatic things. That's a real finger workout right there for you guys. Uh, you go through my course. You're just going to have fast, coordinated, even, and consistent fingers. So, uh, fingers are important. You know, I do talk a lot about range. But mainly, I talk about range because that is the most sorry. That is the most difficult technique on a brass instrument. But there doesn't mean that all the other techniques are easy. And this is the one that's quite a challenge: is getting faster fingers and coordinated fingers especially when we play in keys that we don't encounter every day. A lot of us don't encounter playing in F sharp major, for example, that's concert E. Um, we just tend to come across keys that are uh, more common for us that seem easier, but mainly because we're not always playing in F sharp major, for example. We're not always playing in D flat major, which is um, concert C flat. So it's good to not only be familiar with these keys that don't come our way every day, but it also builds your technique in your fingers and up in your head. And you get the ultimate in your ability to improve your, your overall technique on a brass instrument. And let's face it, we all need to keep working on our technique. I work on my technique all the time. It doesn't stop. You got to keep working on it. And if you have a system out there that's going to help you do it better and faster, why not get it? Look down the description get my Herbert L. Clark course, 90 Days to Razor Sharp Technique. Okay, trombone players, baritone and euphonium players, no more excuses. Get this book, get my course, and start shedding it. See ya.